everybody and how are you? My name's Iris Smith and I'm the owner of a small business called The Flower Patch. As you can see I've got my nuisance cat with me who won't stop me owing because he just wants to sit on my lap where, where it's warm and he can go to sleep. I've tried to get him in the house, he's not interested. <laughs> he just wants to come in here. So... <laughs> Me, <laughs> this uh, the side of me is looking at what I bought. I've been shopping this morning, guys. I do my food shopping, my groceries every Friday, and I drag my oldest son with me. Um, and I come back with something, and as I usually do, <laughs> he spotted it. It's lovely. I've had one before, uh, but in blue, but this one, well, guys. It's my favourite colour and I just couldn't couldn't help myself when I saw it. My son burst out laughing when I told him what it was called. And it is a gonk. And it is my favourite colour, guys. Look at him. Oh, <laughs> it is divine. <laughs> he's not interested now because he's turned his back on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! <laughs> but he's got his hat is emerald green with sequins. Look at him! Isn't he lovely? And he is heavy because he can sit down. Well, <laughs> well, he's supposed to sit down. Sit down. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> supposed to sit down. Um. And I think he is beautiful. He is lovely, guys, and soft. He really, really is. Oh, he's lovely. So I thought we would attach him to a wreath, an oval shaped wreath, uh, which is 14 inch wide, uh, 15 inch wide, sorry, and 17 inches high. And I think. Oh, it's beautiful. Every time I see something like this and it's in green, I just want to keep it for myself. I can't help it. So, my little gonk is going to sit on my wreath. And the wreath is here. An oval shaped wreath. I've already done the bow. Oh, come here, little man. <laughs> um, I've got a, uh, a forest green with... Christmas trees on with silver trees with a bit of glitter on them, um, white force with silver snowflakes and an emerald green velvet which is uh, silk on the opposite side and it is a beautiful feel and it looks lovely. Oh look at that. Oh isn't he lovely. <laughs> I bet you all think I'm silly. <laughs> oh, I think he's wonderful, guys. Bless his little socks. And look at his diddy, diddy. <laughs> Sorry, his diddy little feet. Aren't they cute? So, <laughs> oh, he is going to sit and we're going to attach him on the reef there. And the reef is only going to be half done because I want I don't want to go all the way round because I want to see my little gunk. So he is going to sit there. I've done all the loops on the on the bows all at five inches, with it being quite a big oval shaped reef. And I think oh doesn't he look wonderful? Oh, I think it's super. So, that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to attach him. So, let me get rid of my seat. It's time to stand up. Oh, I'm hoping you can see me. Let me have a look first because I pointed it down so you could see, see me sat down. Let me just... I think that look at him turning his back, my cat. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, isn't he miserable? So, 
Oh, no, he's not. <laughs> Speak too soon, me. So what I'm going to do, he's got some twine on him where you can hang him. This was already on when you can hang him because just at the top, I think at the top, yeah, from here upwards, his hat is wired. Here it's just all fluffy. So I think you just hang him like that. I don't want to hang him like that. That looks awful. So let's take this twine off. Oh, they had them in all different colours, but when I spotted the green, oh my goodness. Oh, and he is beautiful. So, how I'm going to do this is get some floral wire. And with it being dark green, I am going to take it around his hat. So, I want to first of all attach him, and I'm going to... I'm going to attach his little stubby feet <laughs> and I'm going to uh, attach them round here around a lot around his feet oh I hope you're not going to get in the way so I'm going to just go over make a u-bend go over the front take it around the back and I'm just going to twist I don't want to hurt him <laughs> oh, I love cute little feet like this. He was wondering what it were when it came out the bag this morning. He just went up to it, sniffed it, turned around and thought, what the heck is that? So, I want our gonk to sit like that. So now I've put the wire, as you can see, around his back of his feet, his stubby feet. Oh, I do get some things what look silly. I'm going to poke the wire, one through there, through the reef at the back, so it goes down to the bottom. Oh, I don't want it to, to fall through. So there's one. Where's the other one? Let me just take it off of here. I can't do it when it's up there. Oh, <laughs> oh, we didn't like that. So that's one leg. And then at the back, all I'm going to do is twist, like you would with your bow at the back. Just to hold him into place. <laughs> and I'm going to do the same with his other little stubby little foot. <laughs> I'm going to place that through. That's one. Hold that so it doesn't go back in. Oops, I bent it. Let me just get it through. There we go. Where's my flat pliers? Oh, they're over there. Let me just grab my flat pliers so I can get more of a pull on the wire. There we go. And twist again so it doesn't hopefully fall, fall through. It doesn't look too happy, does it? <laughs> oh gosh, Moles, you can be miserable. Just turn that a bit. And then just cut the long ends off. Turn them in so they go back inside. 
the reef so it doesn't scratch anything. So that is that. <laughs> oh, look, his little stubbies are still on show. <laughs> <laughs> oh and then we're going to get another wire and I'm going to do the same with his hat <laughs> bless I can't help but laugh at things like this because I think they're so cute but funny at the same time I'm twisting again around the back of his hat I'm going to bring this wire through the back of my wreath and then do it with the other one and this is all I did with his little feet I can find a place to get it through I have to keep trying till it will go through comes grab it again so I can pull on it and then I'm just going to twist and the reason I'm not making any holes in it is because you know if I want to change the change him and put him on something different then he he won't have any tears or rips in him or anything like that and then I'm just going to get that little bit of wire, bend you bend it back in and push it into the reef. And just fluff his hat up a little bit so you can't see where the wire join hardly is. <laughs> oh Doesn't he look fabulous? I'm going to call him Emmy for Emerald Green. So his name's Emmy. <laughs> oh, Marley, cheer up. <laughs> it's because he wants to go on my lap. So. Oh, and he's even waving. Look at his little mittens as well, look. <laughs> oh, what a cutie. Right, we're going to go through. And we're going to have our floral just around this side because I want Emmy to be on show. So we'll place that there. And let's go through what we've got. Right, I found a few bit of Ogmans. Oh, here it goes. <laughs> uh, the white fire, because only three little bits. So I've brought those out, as well as one fresh stem. So I want to add some white with him having his nice white beard. Don't you go sitting on there. I've also brought out some variegated ficus as well, with the white on. Just with his iron white and green in the ribbon maybe that will you know give it a con nice contrast I've got out one of my uh, willows I thought with the shape of the leaves you know and the point the hat being pointy they could do quite good trying to represent the hat shape on my leaves um, I've just brought three of these bigger ferns out I didn't bring the rest these all came as single stems um, and I thought, again, they've got pointy leaves on, you know, they lead up to a point, I could add some of those in. And I'm trying to represent what Emmy's got. So with his point on his, on his um, hat and also he's got a little white bobble and his <laughs> little stubby feet. <laughs> so I'm trying to represent things like that. I've also got some of this crocodile fern you know, again, I'm not sure if I'm going to use it, but it's got, it leads to a point again. Um, so I thought we could maybe incorporate that. And of course, being Christmas, 
my conifer or cypress leaf is also at a point so I thought on his beard as well is slightly leading off to a point as well so I thought we'd get that now I'm not saying I'm going to use these my aspidistra leaves I, I don't even really know how many I've brought out I just grabbed a great handful but I don't need all these but I've got some aspidistra leaves they're slightly rounded here um, I took into consideration his beard is slightly rounded around his chin and then leads to a point so I took that into consideration so we may use those um, now these are what my dear friend had uh, sent me and with the colour of Emmy's body I thought I may incorporate these I've already put picks on these but you can bend them and I thought we could have a shape of them you know again and incorporate that shape into the wreath so I've got I think I bought three four five of those out and then I got out three of the smaller ones the ones with like I call them like the hundreds and thousands um, but the little uh, seeds all scattered across as well and you can bend them also so I thought we may incorporate them if these are too long I've got out some just oddments I want to use of my white eucalyptus again being round on the the leaves like his stubby feet and his pom-pom and his little round nose and that I thought they could incorporate that shape um, I've only brought one of these out, What again, what my friend, dear friend, uh, you know, uh, got me. And I wasn't sure whether to put that underneath, stubby, uh, not stubby. <laughs> uh, not stubby. <laughs> Emmy. <laughs> I'm not used to calling him stubby, stubby feet. <laughs> Well, laugh then. <laughs> but I've got these as well, and with the having feathers like his fluffy beard, again I thought I'd incorporate this maybe to put down at the bottom near Emmy's little stubby feet. <laughs> oh gosh, he's finding some room. Look, he wants to settle down. No, 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 no. One moment, guys. He's gonna be sick. No, right. You're not coming in. Oh my God, what a sight! What a sight to put on my video and my cat gagging. <laughs> I'll tell you why he does that. Because he's greedy and he overeats what he, what he needs. So he's not being sick in here. Oh, because nobody else will clean it up apart from me because <laughs> they start gagging as well. <laughs> so sorry about that, guys. It's just a natural thing he does. Uh, we all do it in his own way and time, but he has to do it on the camera. <laughs> right, and I've also got some feathers out again, incorporating Emmy's fluffy beard. So I've got those out for that reason. Now, I haven't hardly got any floral. I have got the dark, but this is the darkest green I have in the roses. So I thought with Emmy being quite dark on his hat that's the darkest um, this is more of a forest green that I have to sort of like blend in um, it matches more to the ribbon at the back than it does it with the dark emerald green but again that's the darkest green that I have and Emmy's body is like a duck egg blue so I've just got out a few little duck egg blue uh, peonies little peonies with a few little bits of hydrangea dotted around with their own little white foliage and little white fern and they've also got a bit of lavender in as well so I thought we could incorporate those also so that is what we've got today I don't know it looks like um, I'm going to have to clean his puke up. Oh my goodness. 
He'll be waiting outside the door now to come back in and probably to finish off. <laughs> so, silly cat. Or should I say greedy cat? I bet you wondered what I was going to do then when I ran off. Oh, gosh. I need to check on him. I can't not. So, one moment, guys. Sorry about this, but I have to check. Let me just pause the video. I won't stop it this time. Oh, my gosh, guys. He puked or gagged right outside the door. I opened the door and there was oof, a great big pile of it. So I've had to clean it up and bleach the floor. Sorry about that. <laughs> now, I've just told my son, because he's saying, what's wrong, what are you running for? And I told him, and he just stood there and cracked out laughing, our Brandon. And he just thought you were funny. Now Marley's on the back garden eating grass. I mean, well, I ain't got grass. <laughs> And I've got slabs, but I've got grass plants. So I've locked this door. He's not coming in here. I don't trust him now. Oh, gosh. Right, I've washed my hands and everything. So back to coming on. So let's get Emmy over here. Oh, my good gracious me. <laughs> what a day already. <laughs> right, let's get the longer leaves first. I'm bringing the lengthier foliage out and the shorter one to the one side at the moment. Right, I just want to see, because if you look at Emmy's body look, he's lighter. And that's why the reason I got out that colour because that is a perfect perfect match to Emmy's body so I wanted to use some of these I've saved these for something and this may be big guys because it is a big reef um, and I said that I want you know I use things like this for bigger reefs and again I don't want them as they are straight because <laughs> it will be huge now there was a difference with the swan <clears throat> but that would be huge so I'd, I'd want to keep them bent like that and um, just to bring them down slightly in height and all I did with that is just bend over once there and then bend again and then I just kept doing that all the way to the top you don't have to have as many bends in it and then there's your curvy your curvy leaf and with these I don't think I want to bend those no so I think if I did thin instead of using the whole five I'd only use three of these so let me just get these bent a little bit more May have done that one wrong. I've got the cat on my head now, in my brain now. And I hope he doesn't start meowing because he's not coming in. <laughs> he really isn't coming in. Start from the bottom. This one's just a slightly little bit shorter, so I want I wanted this one to go at the side of the bow. So I don't want those two, so I can save those for something else. And let me check just with my Asper Distra as well. So I like the I like to see four leaves also. Where's my clippers? So let's just start by getting in these lovely. leaves so I'm going to the back and I'm just bending it out. Isn't that long? So let's 
maybe straighten it out a moment and just oh he's I thought he was trying to get in then it's one of my orders what is sliding down everything's going wrong since Marley's gagged Just want to put curves on it. See that one's not going right now. I want to do bigger curves, but bend them slightly more in. So let me straighten it out. Do it like that. Yeah, it's it is uh, one of the orders. I always put in my orders, like I said the other day on the video, a free wreath hanger from the flower patch. And the the flower patch is, uh, oh my gracious, the wreath hangers sliding down to the bottom in the package. Right, I'm doing bigger curls. So it shortens the leaf. I'm going to start from here and then I'm going to finish just before Emmy's stubby foot and that's where I want to finish with it. Everything was going right until Marley did that. <laughs> Have you ever had any moments like that where you've had your, your, your pet on your video and then all of a sudden, oh that's not sitting straight, it's decided or she's decided, or oh, let's show my mum or dad up. So this will be quite big. I was considering doing some tree toppers, um, Christmas tree toppers. Um, I've done one before where it's just ribbon. Um, and I had in total 18 loops on either side. And then I, I had a I think it was an eight foot uh, tail tail end which went down the tree. <clears throat> but I think uh, to do one uh, that size again, I need to buy a fifty yard uh, ribbon, and I've only got them in ten at the moment. So that leaf will touch the bottom at the moment because obviously it's at the highest point I can get it. But if it was up, it was it'd be down like that. I could do it like that. Let me see if I can get that on the camera and work at it like that. Oh my gosh, that is big. <laughs> oh god. I'm going to have to bring the camera back if you want to see all of that. It's not touching the ceiling, guys. It looks like it is on the camera, but it's not. Oh, my good gracious me. I don't know. I don't know if they're too big now. They may be. I think I may. I may have to use those instead, guys, because I don't want to ruin these because they're beautiful. And I can use these if I want to add them to back onto the swan or change the style of the swan. So I'm going to put these smaller ones in instead. Let's put that 
Because it is really quite, oh my good gracious me, it doesn't take long to set. Just straighten them back out. Let me just get that dry glue. I don't like leaving that in. So we'll place in these ones now let's have a look at the stem over here I want to put a bit of glue just on that little bit to hold it down it doesn't peel off. Right, so let's pour. These are beautiful. Put that. I think that's better. at a 45 degree um, these have got rubber around the stem I'm taking off the rubber um, just to the top and then there's a little bit there left I'm going to put a bit of glue on that just so it doesn't carry on or the leaf drops off of the stem that leaf. I'll do the same with this one. I've just got visions of me on the cat on the video <laughs> talking away to you and then next minute gone <laughs> and you all at home or, or wherever you're watching I think where's she gone why has she run away <laughs> I've just got visions of that Let's get I might be able to pull the uh, camera back down or closer. Oh, I've got to stop faffing. because I may be able to bring the camera closer a bit back where we had it sort of it's just a little bit of leaf missing off the top uh, I think you get the majority of it and I notice that it's not facing you very well either So that's the beautiful uh, leaf bin. Oh, it's crying outside the door.
plastic. Can't get it all. Maybe I'll to get it off like this. There we go. It's just a piece of plastic what's over the top of this stem. Right, let's have a look. My placing, because we've got four leaves there, I'm thinking of just placing two of these darker ones there. So then we've got fuller ones. And the Astridis strip as well. So we go about here. I've been saying to my husband I would like uh, an Aspidistra plant in or outdoor, I'm not bothered, and I would also like an Italian Ruscus. I've searched for an Italian Ruscus and I think they have to be in hot weather, uh, well warm, warm weather and perhaps that's why they can't be grown over here, who knows, I just can't seem to find one. I've seen people Google and put can uh, Italian Ruscus be grown in the UK? Um, but I could, there wasn't really an answer to it. They just came up with the picture of the plant. So if anybody knows, let me know because I'd love to. I'd love to purchase one. So I don't think I need any more of those. If I do, I'll grab them from the floor. Now I do have my crocodile fern. Again, to add a bit of different texture. So I could have one, one there, two, three, four. I may have one, two, three, four. So, these have got rubbery stems, so again on a rubbery stem I just pierce around the rubber, I don't snip into the wire inside, I just go around, <clears throat> I haven't done that bit. and then twist it. Some are easier than others to pull off. There we go. And then you're left with your wire there because by keeping your rubber stem on, you place it in either with your hot glue gun or in your hot pan um, and then it starts to melt. And then as soon as you place it in something, then that piece of rubber, wherever it is, starts to lift up like and gather like that and gather at the top of your stem so then it doesn't look like doesn't look very neat as it as it's going into either oasis or a reef or anything like that. That's my personal opinion. Oh gosh, I think I've just cut the wire. Yeah, just cut the wire. So I'll get a pick. Now push it up the stem. So I've created my own pick. And then now I can cut it to do the desired length. So if that, if that happens, then that's just do that. You know, get a, a pick or even maybe double up on your floral wire. 
or if you've got thicker floral wire just place that inside in it as well you can feel if you're going to cut the wire today. So I've got these smaller ones. Grab it with any look. Yeah. So take that one off. See, that's the thing, I keep forgetting I have these. These cut what? Cut. There we go, I should have used those in first place. Da da da. Never mind. Oh, here we go, breaking out in song again. So that's that, twist that back into shape. Right, so that is our crocodile fern. We want something. I know we're going to place those in. But I want to get some, some white. Some white ficus. I always to start with cut the three pieces off. That's too short. Because I don't know how long I'm going to have them first. On, for, on the side of the fire curse, that's the longest piece. So I go by that first. I don't go by this because it, this one's shorter. So I wait because I could cut that in two. So I go by the side piece first. And that I could place that there if I just pop that in. And then if this is the uh, plastic again, the required length, again, I'm just going to place that in. Then that's what I shall cut it to. So how many? One. I just want to see. Let me just come and stand around the front where you guys are. Oh my God, Emmy, this is going to be big. Let's have a look. 
I don't mind big though. It is a big wreath, so it, it suits it. And then where I've got the aspidistra, I could bring in the smaller pieces, or I could again chop off the side of that. So then where I've got the white, and I could bring in the variegated at the side of it or maybe place it behind the crocodile fern like that oh, I'm missing a piece there, that's a bit small Again, behind the crocodile fern here. I'll just place it. Just want to one, two, three, four. Oh, it's a day, is it? I know that's not that's not secure yet, but this is just where I'm thinking of placing them, and then. So white as well. So I'll get in. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me come out. Yeah. So I don't want to keep those aside. Right. So we're going to place in now our far ficus. And again, I do like to position it before I place it, and then have a look, just in case it doesn't balance out or look uh, look very good against uh, anything I'm going to go behind this beautiful leaf with the variegated and then I'm going to go next to it under here with the white ficus and so on. So the, I've got that plastic all over it. And that's what I'm gonna do. Variegated one. I'm being honest, I like doing the foliage from the back. It's, it's easier to see where to place things to start to start up your boundary.
Oh gosh, I've just had a, a mad thought, guys. Can you imagine if my cat was actually sick on camera? <laughs> you know what I would have done? I would have stopped to the camera and I would have started all over again. Because I'm sure, I'm sure you wouldn't want to just sit there watching my cat gagging. <laughs> So yeah, that's what I would have done. I can't believe it did that. That's probably like why he likes to come in here. <laughs> so he's like, ready, steady, and off he goes. <laughs> race to get him out it, when it when he does it in the house as well guys even Evie if she starts to do it you know for some reason has eaten grass because it's the grass that brings up the fur balls and um, if they've been on the garden and uh, they've eaten one of my grass plants and then they come in the <laughs> come in the house it's the race to get them out that door quick otherwise <laughs> They trail it around the, around the house because when you're going, no, no, then they move somewhere else and they carry on finishing off what they're doing. So you go, no, go on out like this, and then they move again. So it's a race, they leave the trademark. <laughs> so it is, it is a race to get them out. So, uh, <laughs> oh my goodness, can you imagine? Oh, I would have just gone, no. <laughs> I don't want that there. I think next to those, they, these look pretty. I love these ones. I got these, I think, off of Bella's wholesale floristry, where she does the online shop. Well, would I bring that further in and give it a different movement in the inner side? We'll see. I do have the feathers. I don't know what to do with the feathers at this moment in time. I might save them. I don't like getting rid of something I like. <laughs> I really don't. It's awful. And I know, I think down here I'd like, or in between, <laughs> Emmy's stubby left feet, I'd like, I think the, the beautiful poinsettia. I think that would look lovely there. Or I could just place it outside of his hat or on top of his hat there instead. We'll see. Oh, I come up with all these ideas. Let's see about... our willow. I don't want to cover the white because it's shorter than the crocodile fur, you may still see it. But then I've got, I have got white to put, bring as like the filler foliage. Um, let's cut off. I'm trying to use like three at a time, you know, three, three leaves on, on one little stem. I could use them as the bigger, um, I have used them before bigger but that was I obviously on something I was doing differently uh, and they do look quite full so if I just show you if I could turn this around there's some that place on back to front then there's about one four sets of um, three leaves on each node and they do fill up really well, even back here or even there. Or you could even have a bunch, a great big bunch there. And I have used a, a full stem before where I've had it like that, but I have lent, you know, bent it over to bring it across like that. But I like to try and get the most out of my stems, not because I'm tight. It's just that I think it can go quite far by chopping bits off. 
So I could bring these just slightly in. I just cut these. That's quite short, so I'll put that on its own stem. Yeah, there's a little bit what I cut off earlier. Well, my wholesaler said that they're delivering, uh, well, they've shipped off an order of mine for a customer that's placed an order, still waiting. <laughs> they don't usually take this long. I hope they're not going to give the excuse it's the post. Do you ever get that, guys? And they go, oh, it's the post. There's, a, there's you know, something going off with the post. What I'm doing with these is just filling, filling up the gaps. Like that. So let me just pop my head around the front. Yeah, I think that's better. Let me just turn, turn Emmy because I think you can't see. I think that's a bit better. You may not see the top leaf, guys, uh, but I will stand back. I've got to get something better than this wet, this sort of uh, layout for the camera. So I think we're going to place in our willow like that. And again, with our oddments that I want to use in white, of our eucalyptus, they will come here. So you still will see the white coming through. And again, I've got some more of the, the ficus on the floor in white. So let's get these in. I have to check first. And if I was doing it when it was facing me, I'd just stand slightly back. Let me just turn it. It always seems to be the top one. Make it work. See, that's melted that plastic stem around the, with the hot glue. Gosh, it's one o'clock already. When you're busy in the morning and you you know you're getting things done in your house and then you do your grocery shopping, you don't realise it as time goes by. Like yesterday, I was determined I was going to start a video really early, and then once I'd finished and did what I had to do, I couldn't find anything to do because I caught up with everything for that day. So then uh, I closed up. That's the best thing of having your own little business and you've got no staff members and working from home. Just close up, think, oh well, that's it for today. Because if I did everything that I've got on order, you know, I'd leave myself nothing to do if I try to do it all in one day. Especially when uh, the customers don't want them for a certain date. So I've got a customer who's made an order but she doesn't want it for until another three to four weeks. So I don't see the point of making that now 
and having it hanging around. <coughs> Got an order what's on the floor, what they need to collect. But you know, and then I've got a couple of that I've got to I'm you know, well I've made my my uh, neighbours, they wanted theirs, so then they it's something out of their mind then. It you know, it's, it's off the as we say off the bucket list. Um so I got this done. But then I've got one for a customer who wants it quite soon. And I have, <laughs> my order hasn't, uh, my stock hasn't arrived for it. So as soon as that comes, that will have to get done immediately. So I don't know why. I haven't a clue why. Why my wholesalers are taking the time. Just positioning the bow properly. There we go. Oh, I keep getting bombarded with uh, a telephone message and it's from a mobile number claiming to be O2 uh, to talk about my um, monthly contract payment. And I just turned around and said to, and said to them, um, well, why are you ringing me on a mobile number then, if you are an actual company? And the phone went dead. I knew straight away, if it's O2, they're not going to ring me on a mobile number. It would come up as O2 on my phone. <clears throat> and then I got, then, within seconds, guys, another mobile number rang me back, and it was the same, same person ringing me on another mobile number. And I turned around and said the same thing. Oh, so you've got another mobile phone spare then, have you, for you to ring me again, but on a different mobile number. If you're O2, my darling, you would ring me from a company, from an actual company. I'll ring O2 up and ask them if you gave me a call. The phone went dead. So please be careful, guys. There's people out there to ring in and, you know, Claiming to be actual, if, especially if you're on an O2 contract, as, you know, making out that they are O2 themselves. Uh, oh, hi, hon. Uh, so that's that's what they're doing, guys. So be very careful. I'm I'm quite um, one of these people. I won't just put the phone down. I will I will uh, confront them. <laughs> Biddy me. And I will question them instead of them questioning me. And I'll put them in a position where they can't answer because I've also said before, well, tell me your name then. And we can't do that. Well, you, you know my name, so you tell me your name. And if you're not prepared to tell me your name, then I don't want to talk to you, you know. And then they'll ask for you to put a code in. Don't ever, 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 guys put any code in because O2 or your bank or anybody will never ever ever ask you to place a code in or ask you to go online for them to take over and for them to take the controls so you just sit and watch them click it is a scam they are getting into your accounts so I'm quite wise with that um, don't do it guys, oh please don't do it because you will go to your bank account and they would have emptied it. Doesn't matter whether you've got hundreds of thousands in or just pence or dollars or dimes or or you know thousands of dollars, whichever, uh, don't don't allow it. Ring your, if they say that you're bank or anything, ring, just say well one moment I'll ring my bank up and ask them if you've contacted me. And then if they say uh, you know, well, you don't need to do that. Say, oh yes, I do. I need to clarify it. 
because your bank will never ask you, uh, to call you, well, speak to you by your first name. Never. They will always call you by your title and your surname. And they will never ask you for your um, sort code or bank, bank account details ever. So be very aware, guys. I don't want any of you to be scammed because it's going around with the economy especially since covid and everything it is going around drastically so always don't feel embarrassed you know when you think oh gosh i didn't question them they can't see you being embarrassed if you feel embarrassed they can't see it bear that in mind they can't see you getting red in the face or anything so question them and say to them well, you know, have you got a uh, a work ID number that I can have that I can uh, pass on and say who's uh, called me if you're not prepared to give me your name? Ask for the work ID number. Anything like that. And then just say, well, I, you know, I'll ring, I'll ring up your company first before I accept anything from you. And if they carry on saying no, <clears throat> which they do, no mom, no mom, I, you know, you don't need to do that. Oh, yes, I do. And just put the phone down and then press block. They might ring you up on another number. And if you answer it and it's the same sort of, you know, person or the same um, company, well, making out that it's the same company, just put the phone down you don't need to say I'm not interested just put the phone down press block ring O2 up or your bank or whoever they claim to be and ask them and if they say no we haven't we haven't made a call of any such thing then especially your bank they will put you onto the fraud team and they will ask you for the number that has rang that you have that has just rang your phone don't delete the number because they will ask for that number Give them the number and they will send the fraud team onto it and they can track it. So I just want you to all be safe, everybody. I mean, I've had, uh, when I didn't know what was going off at first, they, they did it to me. Until I realized after it was too late. So, oh, I know now. <laughs> I'm not as silly now. So, right, I've got these. Sorry about that rant. It's just that I just wanted to inform you, you know, it doesn't matter where you are in the world, what's going off, you know. Uh, I've got these crocodile ferns and I'm considering placing one there, one there, if I can hold it. If I just place it through something. We just place that there. So one there, one there. Quite long these stems, and then one there. So then you've got again different texture of leaf behind the full leaf. So we'll hold on to those because I want to get in some of our white filler foliage again I'm doing what I did yesterday filling in first and then if there's any space after I will work around that and what I want to do with these is bring them round here look at his button little nose you know and I just want to Again, I'm just positioning them. I positioned it behind something. Something like that. So I'm bringing the white in because there's a lot of green the, and there's only a bit of white on the back so I need to bring in that contrast you 
in. I'm stopping here where Emmy's feet are. There's little stumps. There's nowhere to place it until I until I actually glue it in. Oops, the daisy. We have got again just bringing in some filler. Oh, where did that go? I ain't got a pick on it, no wonder. Silly me. up the bow because again don't forget around the bow area Let me just have a look because I don't want to overdo it. Yeah, that's nice. I may need to bring a couple more in. Oh, God, you know, or I've just spilled my drink. God, I am so weird today. <laughs> I may need to bring a bit more. I think what I need is a bit of white again here in front. So I've got white willow or. Now, I've looked up what this, these are. I do like to look and find out. Oh my goodness, I'm dropping the metal there. You know, when I said I wasn't sure what they are, the eucalyptus. I've looked up on the invoice. Sparkly eucalyptus single stem. Hmm. I've got my willow, but I could just as a long stem extend it instead of having everything short here or the, you know, extend it and have a bit of a longer stem placed in at the front. And I'm just going to use the conifer to hold it in. I know it's not going to sit like that, but we need something longer here. What can I use to hold that in? Use that. And bring one. There. And then one around here somewhere. Okay. Oh my give you an hang on Emmy. <laughs> and I'm just placing them there so you've got the longest stems because you can see the green within. And again, I've still got these green that I'd like to place, which are also long at the back. So these will also help. I don't think I'm going to put any willow in, no. I was going to give it a go, but again, I could just place that there. I keep thinking it may look nice up there. 
or maybe up the top here. And then just bring that there. I brought out some more uh, eucalyptus, so I'll keep that one out. And then we've also got our floral, we've got our green roses, you know, that I'd like to incorporate. You know, bring some bit out, not all in the centre. I want one out here. I've got nothing to hold it on to, guy. Until I glue them. But if you get what I mean, bring one around the, there. I want to add the green roses around the side. Again, I'm just placing these on where around I'd like them to see. So around there. goodness I just it's just not going <laughs> put one in one drops out put one in stay there <laughs> if you get what I'm saying guys and then the peonies will come closer in there so they will also act as filler as well as being a flower around that is <laughs> what i plan <laughs> without one in one out one in one out so we're going to take them out now <laughs> now i know and now i've had a look what i think so they can all come out take these out too so that is what we are going to do <laughs> so let's get our eucalyptus filler foliage in I say that when the cats are in, going in and out Oh, one in, one out, one in, one <laughs> I bet you all think I'm crazy. <laughs> Get that blue. Oh, cat on the roof. <laughs> oh my goodness. I know who that one will be. That'll be Evie. And oh yeah, my husband's home. He would have let Molly. He won't let Molly in, so Molly will be coming here. Well, I've got the lock on the door. My husband. <laughs> My husband opened the door at the bottom because it's, well, I say log, it's, it's like, I don't know what they call them. Well, you'd wrap a, your suitcases over the top of your car, one of the, and they've got hooks on, like a big elastic band type thing. I don't know what they're called. Because uh, my door's with a key and my key's in the house. Uh, so I use that on the inside to hold it shut. <laughs> and my husband's at the bottom of the door pulling it, holding the band so it doesn't fling in his face and slowly slide in the cup in. <laughs> I 
I've trained him well. I hadn't even got to look at his face when he was. <laughs> All I've got to do is ding ding, <laughs> slide it through the door. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> I bet everybody thinks my, I've got my husband as a slave. Far from it. <laughs> from it guys trust me and if I'm being honest with you guys I don't allow him to do anything in the house absolutely nothing because he's been to work all day I mean I know I have but his work I mean I used to work for him um, making uh, all these summer houses wooden outdoor buildings and taking them out on site and everything. It is a hard job, a very hard job. Very, uh, you've got to energize it. You've got to have a lot of energy. You've got to have a, quite a bit of power, you know, to lift these wooden panels. And I've done, I've, I've been doing that, you know. I used uh, table saws, chop saws, uh, angle grinders, things like that. Uh, what men think that um, women shouldn't touch, I did. Uh, yeah, I cut wood into different shapes, um, all sorts. Went out, took the lads out on delivery. Uh, I drove the truck. Yeah, anything. I went up on the roofs when we put the building up. I put the felt on the roofs or helped my stepson. I made the, some doors, my stepson taught me how to make doors, windows, yeah, all sorts. So, uh, I know what a hard job it does. Um, so when, uh, I know with floral people say, oh, well, that's not a hard job. Oh, it is. I've said many times to people, come on, give it a go. Give it a go and then tell me again it's not hard you have to have a creative mind you have to basically you have to know what you're doing you know I say otherwise just like my husband's job is as more physical mine's more mental mental mentally a mental job if that's what you say um, And even my husband agrees with that. But because my husband's job's more physical, I don't allow him to do anything in the house. He comes home from work. He makes me a drink. That's it. I don't allow him to cook, clean, decorate, anything. I do it. It's not that I'm, I don't know, some people may say, oh, I've had it off of family members. Oh, no wonder your husband's with you if you don't allow him to do anything. What husband, what husband would love that? But it's not that. I take into consideration his style of work. Oh, don't get me wrong, at weekends is different. <laughs> He's not working at weekends. So I do say, you know, well, you're not at work today, so you can help. Yeah. Well, we've got an understanding about that. You know, if I really need something, it will help me. It will help me. He built me this. You know, he built me my storage, my extra storage. So he does. I could have built it. I'm being honest, guys, the worktop that I'm on, I did that. And my husband would say, say so as well. I built it.
No, there's nothing to it. It's just the way our understanding. But don't get me wrong. When I ask him something or say, go and do that, he'll go, yeah, yes, boss. <laughs> and I love that. <laughs> what woman wouldn't? And I just look at him and go, you've got that right. <laughs> so, so what I'm doing here, I'm just using a bit more filler. I can still see a bit of gaps that I want to fill. Um, if you can see, I've not turned it round because I wanted to see it. Here, look, around here, I need something behind the bow. I need something that helps there. I want one here, you know, and maybe one just before Emmy's hat and one somewhere. That, that's what I want to do is just place a bit, bit more of this white filler in before we get onto the, the rest of it. And I'm placing the stem quite high up because this eucalyptus is hanging downwards. that's there. I could get a floral there so I'm not going to cover that bit. Let's get one here. the floor has got to go in. We just take, oh my good gracious me, oh my good gracious me. Yeah, so they're going around there. Right, let's get the big white, apparently glittery eucalyptus single stem. I look at it and I just think, hmm, when I look at that, maybe, yeah, I can see where they're coming from. Well, we'll go with that. So I wanted one up there. Um, I wanted one around there. I think I wanted to place though just where the green, that beautiful green leaf is. Coming out there. Yeah, and then one there. I couldn't mind you. I've got did I got five didn't I? And then the ones on the aspidistra. Distra. I wanted one under here. And then one there. I went, wanted to order some more of these guys and I had a look on my wholesale this morning. They're out of stock. They must be very popular. So, let me just, right now there's a lot of white, so now this is where we'll start adding a bit more green into it. Let me just 
get a little quick drink of my hubby's coffee. Now I've got the... So I've just have a look which other greenery I could add in. So let's get. I want to see whether that looks better at the top. The it looks like it's part of his hat. Right, so far I like that. Let's just go through his legs. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Emmy. Now Emmy, that don't look right. You got you got four five curly balls in front. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that, that sounded wrong. <laughs> Sorry guys. That just didn't sound right. <laughs> that was sounded rude. Uh, and I'm not a rude person. <laughs> oh dear. This has got... I think I put a pick on this last time. I think this looks better on top near his heart. So I'm going to place that there. I still want to see his pom pom. So let's see how long I want. So I need to cut off at least that. Oh my giddy, I'm not that strong. No laughing, guys. <laughs> Let's just bring that light and that. That looks better like that, guys, I think. On top of his hat. Near, to near the top of his hat. So it looks like it's part of his hat. Nothing more. <laughs> so, our roses, before we get the smaller ones in, Oh gosh, here we go, one in, one out. Well, I've shown you where I'd like to situate these. So, if there's one on the end I'd like to place. I'll slightly lift up the green the head of the rose. I'm not going to cut these uh, stems because they are coming out slightly longer. And if you notice, I'm placing them where the glittery uh, eucalyptus is. Oh, I nearly dropped that one in. <laughs> one behind the belt.
my uh, oldest son tonight is going with his girlfriend and her mum uh, to watch Christmas lights being put on and then he's going to his dad's after and staying at his dad's I think tonight and then he's going to visit his mum or Rita tomorrow and he's going to stay with his mum or Rita for the weekend to keep her company Isn't that nice? I think that's lovely to say 28 year old lad you know they'd usually I mean he lives at home so they'd be usually got their own place by now and doing their own thing uh, but not my sons <laughs> and uh, so they go and visit the granny and keep her company rightly so She's a lovely lady. I'm just straightening the bow. And again, you don't see many uh, young lads who are still at home doing that. Not round here, anyway. So, I want again to bring one there i'm leaving the bit of lavender oh my god that's not got a flower <laughs> that's not got a flower yet so i'm not leaving the bit of lavender <laughs> i want to please I'd like one around here. Again, I'm just placing these. How many more have I got? Two. Oh, that's a bit of... One, two, three. Oh, oh my goodness. Is it counted at a 10 day? <laughs> One, two, three. Oh, where's it gone? Oh, it's around here somewhere. I think that one needs to come slightly a little bit down. Like that. So that's where I want to place them. I don't need those. I don't know about the feathers now. I don't want to touch them because I like them so much. No, I'm saving them. But again, I still do want these because if you can see, there's still gaps here. And I need to fill those. So by placing something along the lines of like that, if I just, again, if I can place one in, I look round the back. I'm just, I'm just coming round the front because I don't want it to get too big because they're sticking out really quite big. So. Just to use as like filler, put 
but they, yeah, they fit better than having big. I mean, I could place another Aspidistra in. Um, let's just have a look with another one in. See, they even look okay. So one, two, so let's have a look if I have another, got another one, so then I've got five I think, one, two, I've only got two in, one, I think I've only put two, two in guys. Sure, I put three in. <laughs> One, two. Hmm. I can only see two from the back as well. Right, we'll use those. And we'll put some of these in as well. Seven here, so we'll use all seven. So we'll use those and those. So let's get uh, these, isn't it? Yeah. Oh my goodness, I am going absolutely crazy. Ever since that cat gagged up. I'm going to blame the cat. <laughs> and for my son to laugh. I've asked him before when the cat's being, uh, cat's being sick. Clean it up then. <laughs> Honest to God, guys, you should have seen his face. He was like, no. I can't. Like that. And I said, well, I, when I used to do nursing, I used to have to clean absolutely all sorts of... Oh, no, no. Uh -huh. And I asked my youngest son, go on then, clean it up. Oh, no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> And then he starts gagging. <laughs> and then mother starts laughing. And the same with my husband. You can't do it. Isn't it weird? Women, we've got a heart of stone. We can do things like that. Well, majority of us anyway. We're very good. Don't get me wrong, there's some men out there that can do it. It's like my husband, if he sees blood. Oh my gosh, he goes all dizzy. Uh, even if he's just got a little cut and then blood's just pouring out and dripping out. He's on the floor. He's, <laughs> he's passed out, he's on the floor. He goes as white as anything and falls to the floor. I can't get this plastic off. Oh, there we go. Right. I'm going to place one there. So right in between. Turn him around. Yeah, here. I think that looks quite nice having a full, full leaf. 
so one, two, oops. let me just see where I need it, I can't really see from the side here, one, two, one, two, three, four, I need another one, um, I need another one guys, if I show you, Excuse my uh, head. Here. Let me just... Obviously it will be back a little bit. Yeah. So if you look at it, I need it there at the bottom. And then you've got one there. And it's all going up to the top. So let's get that bottom one on, get these, so that's glued in, that's glued in, we want this one glued in, but I can see I can't what it is. Oh, it's a twig. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's a twig. And now one at the bottom. See, for you newcomers who don't know, I, is this that sits around the bottom? and I peel it off because I don't want, if I've ever got to put a pe uh, pick on it, I don't want different heights, so I want it all to be the same height. So I just take it off. It comes off the main stem. That's just me being fussy, I've always done it. Right, watch me. Just... And then... Oh, let's just have a look. So I'm going to have to put something in front of that because I can't just sit there bare. Got to actually place something in front. Right, so let's see where I need to place these. So I want one here. One there. What I'm doing with these, I'm dotting these around. Well, not dotting them, but placing them a bit more near the near central point. One there. Let me get some more. Just placing one. 
There's something needs to be in there. Let me get these in now. So I place the fern, the little fern here, in here. These have come out because there's a the ribbon, then here, then they've gone back in to nearer to the centre point. And that's what I'm trying to use as also a bit of filler. So that one in. behind the rose and I will turn you know reposition the actual leaves on these ferns because they do twist around some are facing backwards I mean some people say they quite like that because it's more of a natural look I don't mind it myself Just oh, climb, climb up <laughs> again. I think I'm shrinking, just slightly bend that in. So I've got the conifer, for... oh. and then this one. Just gonna turn place one around here. Right, now let me see where I need some filler foliage placing. What it would have to be I think green it's got to be around there so I want little pieces they're not going to help I was looking at something the other day as well Thank you. 
Some of these, um, I think it's rosemary or thyme, one or the other. I've got another bit here, so I may. Let's just see. Place them, we'll see what they look like. Just give it that little bit of different texture. And I want to cut off different pieces yeah, I'm just placing these guys don't want to hide Emmy's little uh, <laughs> heat it in, not just having it around one edge and making it look like it's got a circle. Let's just see with a bit of salad as well. So I could take that bit out, add that in there. There. And again, just always look where your bow is underneath. Up that there. There's one up there. I think then that's that's enough. So if I now put all those little pieces in that I've just used to fill in, I think Emmy will be happy. Don't you guys? <laughs> Isn't it lovely? Even his hat's nice and soft. I just want to show his booties off. So let me move that leaf. There. So let me just take this salal. Right, I'm going to pop this salal under the bow. So. This will be done in no time. Adding now the filler. Oh, I've got glue all over my thumb.
something that I placed. Sort of quick. pieces and then that's all our filler popped in get that off that glue string Our bow. <laughs> nearly missed out and misheld it and that guys I think is enough for Emmy because we still want to keep an eye on him let me come and see oh look don't he look wonderful so let me just bring in the camera slightly Look at Emmy. <laughs> Look at his little stubbies. <laughs> he don't look too happy now. <laughs> and up there, uh, they've got the lovely flower and the roses. And that's how high it goes up. And the beautiful velvety ribbon with the... Uh, white and silver snowflake and then the green with the silver Christmas tree behind at the back and your peonies what the same colour as uh, Emmy's uh, shirt and then you've got your your white eucalyptus oh my good gracious <laughs> oh my good gracious oh don't things go very great for me when I'm on camera? <laughs> um, <laughs> so, there you go. There's Emmy. <laughs> and uh, I suppose he looks happy. I did put it back on my stand now, guys. <laughs> Let's have a go. Oh, gosh, without stopping anything. Oh, oh, I've done it. Oh, I've done it. <laughs> Aren't I surprised? Let's just make sure that my phone doesn't go off in a direction. Sorry, guys, but it's... I have to set it in a certain uh, position for it to not not move down. And if I, I, when I try to let go, it, it, it's tilting, look. <laughs> 
Oh my goodness, I didn't let go. Let's just <laughs> keep it. Just bear with me, guys. I'm just trying to do something without the camera moving, without it tilting. Oh, I think I've done it. I think I've done it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've done it. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> My day's gone fabulous today, guys. Fabulous. Loved it. <laughs> Emmy with his uh, little stubby feet. And his lovely soft tickly body. And his beautiful heart. And I thought, let's do it. As soon as I saw him this morning, I thought, let's do it in green. We've got to. We can't not. Um, and I thought, you know, just bring some roses in. And just a little Christmassy theme. It doesn't have to be a Christmas one. You know, you can just have Emmy the Gonk at any year uh, all year round if you like. Just change the ribbon and there you go. You know, it can be an all year round as well. And um, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed the comedy part with a cat. <laughs> and I hope you enjoyed the comedy part where I nearly dropped... Um, the camera again and etc and etc <laughs> but all in a good fun loved it so guys if you enjoyed this and you love emmy uh, give us a thumbs up and uh, send us a comment and uh, subscribe share and like and uh, tell us what you think and if you've done something along the lines uh, as well uh, send us your pictures i was going to do something different i was going to use i was going to do where is it actually <laughs> i love my teddies i was going to do the gingerbread man look at his art <laughs> so i was going to do him uh, sat on a log uh, with around the flowers around and in red flowers uh, and candy cane things as well so I may do that one day uh, because I'm having the weekend off again guys I've uh, stopped working weekends I need to rest I need to practice my hula hoop <laughs> oh you should have seen me on that so again I hope you enjoyed it so uh, please join me again and um, take care everybody have a wonderful evening and have a wonderful wonderful weekend stay creative and do lots of work and fun have fun with it and i'll see you all one day bye bye everyone <laughs>